In this video, we'll walk you through the implementation of the Johnson Cook material model in Abacus using the VUMAT subroutine. To ensure accuracy, we also modeled the same scenario using Abacus's built in material model and compared the results for verification. We began by discussing the Johnson Cook theory and its formulation. Next, we explained the modeling process using the material models available in Abacus. Finally, we reviewed the implemented VUMAT code. It's important to note that this video is part of a comprehensive package. With this package, you'll have access to all Abacus and Fortran files, along with lesson videos and several workshops. The link to the package is provided in the description. Well, it's time to get started. But before that, let me answer a question you probably have in mind. If the Johnson Cook model already exists in Abacus's material library, why do we still need to write a VU mat? The answer is, while the built-in model restricts you to its predefined formulation, the VU mat subroutine allows you to implement customized or modified versions of the Johnson Cook model. This added flexibility enables you to tailor the material behavior to better suit your specific simulation needs. Now, let's dive into the Johnson Cook theory and its formulation. The Johnson Cook model is a widely used empirical material model for describing the behavior of metals under varying temperatures, strain rates, and stress conditions. It was first proposed by Johnson and Cook in 1983 and is particularly useful in simulating material behavior during high strain rate conditions, such as an impact, crash, or manufacturing processes like machining. The Johnson Cook model is especially valuable due to its simplicity and its ability to capture the effects of strain, strain rate, and temperature on material behavior with relatively few parameters, making it widely used in both industry and academia for simulations involving high strain rate conditions. Hi, in this session, we will talk about writing VU math subroutine for damage initiation and hardening based on Johnson Cook model. As you see, stress-strain behavior has three parts. Elastic behavior, that is until sigma zero. Plastic behavior, that is until the point where D is equal to zero. And damage behavior. In this example, we will talk about the first two parts. The elastic region is definite and in plastic region, yield stress and damage initiation are based on Johnson Cook criteria. This is reduced Johnson Cook equation that is used for calculating yield stress. Damage initiation index will be calculated based on equivalent plastic strain. Here we calculate epsilon. And when the summation of the differences of equivalent plastic strain over the damaged plastic strain gets into 1 or over it, damage initiation occurs. Here we have the explanation of parameters such as equivalent plastic strain at damage initiation or empirical material parameters. Stress triaxiality, that is pressure stress over the mice's equivalent stress. And WD is damage initiation criteria. As I said, the equivalent plastic strain will be calculated using equation number 4. And yield strain in time t will be calculated from summation of yield strain at time t minus 1 and multiplication of hardening and delta epsilon. And the predicting stress will calculate from equation number 6. And we can write an equation for stress based on equations number 1 to 6 that eta will calculate from equation number 8. We can write equation 7 based on multiplication of F and predicted reduced stress 
that f will calculate from equation 10. All of equations 7 to 10 are created from equations 1 to 6. This was a general overview of the relationships and theory behind the Johnson-Cook model. Now let's review the first workshop together. In this session, we will use Abacus's built-in Johnson-Cook model to analyze the impact of a plate.
Okay, the first workshop is concluded, but you're probably interested in knowing what steps we need to take if we want to write our own VUMAT code for the Johnson Cook model. In the rest of the video, we cover this topic. Before that, to ensure that the VUMAT code works correctly, we solved a new problem twice, once using a backwards built-in material model and once using the subroutine. We then compared the results. As you see, the stress contour is almost similar. And the differences are because of calculation errors. For example, to compare contours from Create Display Group, Part Instance, choose Billet and select Replace and do it for Other Model. You can see stress results that are almost similar together. And also SDV1 that is equivalent plastic strain. And you can see Johnson Cook damage criterion that it is SDV2 for subroutine model. As you see, the results are the same. You can see these are defined in state variables in subroutine. We can also compare energies from results, field output, choose internal energy and plastic dissipation for VUMAT model. And also, we can do this for a Bacchus model. Port. For internal energy, the results are exactly the same. And also, for plastic dissipation, the results are similar together. It shows that the subroutine is almost correct. Okay, now let's check the subroutine. Here we have VUMAT subroutine for Johnson Cook hardening and damage initiation. First, we need to import the interface area of VUMAT subroutine from software documentation. After that, the input parameters should be defined as real star 4. Next, we have some comments that define state variables such as equivalent plastic strain. JCCRT, that is the damage initiation based on Johnson Cook criterion. Plastic strain at the onset damage and stress triaxiality. Delta equivalent plastic strain, stress average and von Mises stress as number 5 to 7. And finally, delta equivalent plastic strain over plastic strain at the onset of damage is number 9. D1, D2, and D3, that are the parameters related to initiation of Johnson Cook criterion. I hope you found this useful so far. However, this is just a part of a comprehensive package that includes the full lesson and multiple workshops on implementing the Johnson Cook model using a Backless's built in material model and VUMAT. You can find the link in the description. If you want to gain a deeper understanding of the topic and access the complete set of video files, Abacus models and subroutine codes from the workshops, I highly recommend checking it out.